speed checks along the way between Shushin at the World Championships and Timo Boll before that, or after that recently, rather. Timo Boll, on the other hand, it was not long ago that out of injury, Timo Boll, people were questioning, would he retire? And then he comes out to be one of the biggest stars in table tennis on the planet right now after an amazing World Cup performance. There he is, Timo Boll, crowd on their feet already. Known in China as Boar, one of the very few players that the Chinese team has had to seriously worry about and has lost to many times. The best players in the world have all lost to Timo Boll, I believe. I'd have to check and definitely keep you posted. But most recently, Ma Long, world number one, who rarely loses to a foreigner, has lost to two this year, only one on the world tour, and it's Timo Boll, Ling Gao Yuan, also shares that with Ma Long, having lost to Timo Boll recently. So this will determine who will play Lee Song Su in the semifinals. Lee Song Su beat Xu Xin for a while. Xu Xin was almost unbeaten by foreigners. Zhuang Ziyuan at the Olympic qualification tournament in 2016 in Hong Kong. Took care of that. Austria's uh, Egon Mösberger, our umpire. Interesting. Maybe that's a really common first name in Austria and I just need to do more research. But for fans of Ghostbusters, it definitely brings up some sweet memories. Miroslav Seidel from Poland, our assistant umpire. He cleans the table. Can understand why this should be a very thrilling match. It's so tough to say, Ling Gao Yuan is one of the best players in the world right now when he's comfortable. What he lacks, I would say, is mostly mental. From pressure and experience, I mean, he's as fast as can be. He's strong, he's quick, he's short in his strokes, he counters well. Tactically, he's quite strong. Technically, he's incredibly strong. Timo Bull, on the other hand, I mean, a legend of the sport, doesn't have the exact technique that some would play with or would be taught. I mean, you don't see any players on the Chinese national team playing their strokes like Timo Bull. Not his forehand, not his backhand. Yet Timo Bull has managed to be number one in the world three times in his life. He's just played incredible table tennis over the years. He's won two World Cups. And now Ling Gao Yuan. You know, the question is, what is it going to take for him to gain that confidence? And there is mental training, and like anything else, it's tough early on, especially, it's not like Lin Gao Yuan just dropped a glass vase or something. It's like he's trying to hold back one of the best players in the world. And while he got really close, just couldn't do it. So we'll see. Timo Bull in the Men's World Cup really stole the show for a lot of people, despite Dmitry Ovtrov winning the cup and having an incredible tournament. Timo Boll on the other side of the draw had to play the top two, you know, the, the only two Chinese players in the tournament to get to the final. And I remember after Gustavo Tsuboy, I saw Timo Boll, and as strong as Gustavo Tsuboy is, you wouldn't imagine Timo Boll being too shaken up after that match, a 4-0 victory. And I saw Timo, and his eyes were red, and he looked like he just needed to sleep. I was like, oh my God, how are you, man? He's like, so tired. He was really tired after his 4-0 victory early in the tournament. And I talked to Prouza, Richie Prouza, and he's like, yeah, Timo's just spent. He's burning the candle at both ends. He's playing so much table tennis right now, and he's still, you know, going to China and doing all sorts of stuff to promote table tennis and competing in every other league you can think of. And after that, he played the match against Ling Gao Yuan. We thought, could it possibly get any more exciting? And then he played Ma Long and beat Ma Long. And finally, there was one player who could make him appear as tired as he sounded after he played Gustavo Tsuboy. It was Dmitry Ovtrov. But let's see what Ling Gao Yuan has learned from about, what, two and a half weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Definitely home court advantage for Timo Bull. Ling Gao Yuan to start with the serve. Wow, quite a break there. Slow spinny ball off the top of the net. Creeps over.
this one much sneakier in another way. Timo's incredibly clever. He really just can control the ball in so many ways. He's, he anticipates so well. He knows the game so well. Now, it's way too early in the match to tell, but as far as starts go, this just reminds me how much Timo knows about breaking rhythm of the opponent. Lin Gaoyuan plays two balls right into the middle. Timo takes it a little bit later and hits spinny shots still low enough. Excellent shot. Lin Gaoyuan finds the opening, plays it quickly, taking advantage of Timo out of position. Funny how different it feels when you realize first three points are won by Timo. He's starting to run away. Could this be domination? All it takes is two points, and Lin Gaiyuan's right here. Now, this is also a difference. Timo Bull has won a lot of points from behind the table. Lin Gaiyuan is the faster of the two players. Timo Bull, his timing is much faster than most Europeans. He plays the ball on the uprise, but he's going to have to stay in near the table. If Lin Gaoyuan has a little extra time, he'll calibrate. He'll recognize the variation in spin. He'll have time. He'll just control the table too well. Heavy spin on the push. Timo, some clear disappointment from that. And a good opportunity with the ball sitting a little high for a third ball. Oh, and a service error, too. Get him out now. Shake it off. Early in game one, Timo's been known to be a comeback artist. Despite that, he's lost five points in a row. But I guess that's how comebacks work. It wouldn't be a comeback if you were leading the whole time. Comeback from what? And Timo Bull, arguably the most popular player. Well, I guess with Zhang Jiko right now, it's sort of his planet in the table tennis world. We'll see how many tournaments he has left in his career. I'm curious. But Timo Bull, one of the most popular players around the world in table tennis. He entered the arena just to check on something yesterday. And the crowd got so excited, somebody spotted him, and they started shouting and screaming. Timo Bull right back in. It's so interesting how different the lives are of these two players. In some ways, they're quite similar. They're both professional table tennis players who focus on being the best player they can be. But Timo Bull is at a different stage in his career. Of course he wants to be, and he will do the best he can to be the best player he can be. His performance, he played virtually with no practice. He'd just been playing matches almost non-stop for, I don't know, six or seven weeks, something like that, maybe practicing one day a week. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing! That's, I don't think it counted. I forgot what happened. Let's watch it again. I don't even want to make any claim. Hold on. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Fang Zhendong's shot was just outdone. This counts. It hits the net. It hits the clamp of the net. Timo Bowl spills out and rolls it on the table. Did they give him the point? Did they give him the point? Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back with you.
I'm sorry, I'm still catching my breath. There's nobody around me who speaks English right now who's aware who the coin was awarded to. Timo Bull with three game points. And he takes the game. We'll be back in a bit. I'll get some news for you. Game two, Timo Bull leading over Lingal Yuan. Game two coming right up. Back for game number two, so here's the question. If anything, maybe the ball touched the floor is the question. I want to see the replay of that again just for curiosity's sake. And for Star Awards sake and for just absolute nuts sake. If the ball never touched the floor, and I obviously don't have the final say on this, but it appeared to me if the ball didn't touch the floor, that's Timo's point. And sure, he took the game, but just for cool factor, that is the best shot. That might be the best shot I've ever seen in table tennis. Really still not over it, but Ling Gao Yuan is. He's up 3-0 here. Timo Bull has been a comeback artist. We've seen it time and time again, especially against Ling Gao Yuan, even in game one here. First point for Timo in game number two. Standing exchange, both players in the counter loops from off the table. Timo Bowl starting to come back in game two. I'm really excited to watch this match, but that one point, my heart rate still hasn't settled back down. I almost pulled the headphones and the whole control box off the table here. Some service error, maybe. Sneaks it past on the wide forehand, Timo. I remember that time, it didn't feel like long ago, where people were asking Timo, are you ready to retire? Of course, YouTube comments are never a great source for kind thoughts or gentle people, but Timo said, oh, I don't know, seemed to be playing fine. So five points in a row from down 0-5. Like every game, he's just going to loosen the leash a little bit more. Allow Ling Gao Yuan to get more points and then come back to recover them. Second towel break of the game, tied up at six points each. I guess that point just goes to show you the point, of course, in game one. But there are a lot of factors to consider. Like a magic trick, you're watching the right hand, and the left hand is the one you need to be watching. If the ball did hit the floor, then by all means, point over, no questions. But I want to see it again. Thank you. 
Top edge of the racket, the extra spin that Timo puts on the ball, it's different. It's a different trajectory, it's a different bounce. It's not something that Lin Gaoyuan is used to. It's not something that most players are used to. I think Dmitry Ovtrov probably has a better hang of it than many players in the world. Still not an easy job for Dima. Ooh, excellent serve there. Reverse pendulum a bit deep on the table into the backhand side. Some surprise for Timo. Like the second bounce is a bit of a surprise for Timo. Break off the top of the net, the apology from Timo. Timo's one of the most genuine people I've ever met in my life, and you can tell just by the way he apologizes that he really feels bad. When he beats people, the handshake he gives, even in his interview about beating teammate Christian Carlson, it's quite a good match. Talked about how he didn't want to have to play his teammate. He doesn't like it. Big point here. Back into the lead now. Well played, one into the body, one into the backhand. The middle in the deep corner, Timo with two game points. You know, we saw something similar after the World Championships, I believe, with Fang Zhendong and Ma Long. The next time they faced off, maybe Japan. That it seemed like Fang Zhendong was scarred from their last encounter. Is the same happening here? Big point here, a save, one game point saved by Lin Gaoyuan. But it is tough to come back and play somebody who essentially, for lack of better terms, robbed you of a victory you were so close to getting. Break off the top of the net again, and Timo can't believe it. Apologizes a few times, but that's how it goes. He takes game two for a 2-0 to zero lead. Stick around, game three, Lin Gao Yuen, don't count him out. Game three coming up after this. Game number three, Lingao you went down 0-2 with the serve. I think we've heard more balls off the top edge of his racket today on that forehand shot. I don't know, at this point in the match anyway, than any match I've seen in some time. Excellent speed, Timo Bowl gets the first one back, but Lingao you went on top of it after that. Liu Go Jung there. Coach for Ling Gao Yuan, Eric on Weibo. Strong opening, fast footwork to get around for that backhand. Changing it up some risks. You lose the two first games. Something needs to change. Still not convinced. Timo Bowl was down 0-5 last game. A few shots here and there. It's going to take a lot, and I think Lin Gao Yuan knows that too. Sometimes you can't be thinking about the game as a whole. Just play each point. I mean, it makes it sound a lot easier than it is, but if Lin Gao Yuan just wins a point, all he has to do is win one point for every point that happens from now on, he's going to win the match. So I, I should say win the point. First towel break of the game, the lead recovered. Timo Bull ties up, ties it up at 3-3. Oh, beautiful. Angle, Timo goes for it. 
I saw Simon Gozi dive for two balls like that against Gino Eda yesterday. Timo Bowl is close, but I think when you're 36 years old, the body doesn't like the floor as much as it does when you're maybe Lingao Yuen's age, 22. It's a rude awakening to realize that you dive for one shot in a table tennis tournament and then you take two weeks off of playing, walking with a limp for two weeks. Timo's in incredible shape, but still, you'll try to avoid diving if you can. Extra spin on that last one, the jump up, an uncomfortable shot too for Timo. He played it with the backhand from the middle. Lindau Yuen was tempting him, saying, turn and take that forehand, I dare you. As soon as you do, I'm gonna turn and take mine. Let's open up the table a little bit. Timo's like, nah, I'm gonna stay in the middle here. Use my backhand. This is tough. You hear Timo grunting there. He puts a bit more pace and power behind that shot. Lingao Yuen has shown before that he can handle the pace. If Timo Bol varies it up and surprises him with it, it'll be effective. Excellent work. Short side of the table for Timo. Second towel break of the game. Timo down by two. Both of these players are incredibly, incredibly likable guys. Ling Gao Yuan has a bright future ahead of him, no matter what. He's one of the best players on the Chinese national team. He just needs some experience. He's got all the ingredients. Timo's so likable, it's just tough to root against him ever. I think it's also a question of people want to see Timo keep playing as long as possible. Oh, too quick, right off the bounce, way out wide, no chance for Timo there. Excellent opener from down low near the table, Timo Bull digging deep and playing it to the very corner. And to think Timo Bull wanted to be a banker when he was a kid. Just imagine the world if Timo Bull were a banker and not a table tennis player. Excellent counter there from Ling Gao Yuen. Saw the apology. Not quite sure if it was the contact, what it was. Either way, very polite play from Ling Gao Yuen. Four game points. Smart play, change of direction down the line. Timo Bull, not just smart, one of many adjectives to an amazing shot. This rally's tough. I thought the second shot from Ling Gao Yuen would win the point. For me, that second backhand of Timo, though, the way he changed the angle, so nice. Timeout, no, a third towel break for sure. to wonder again when that point like six seven in game one happened it's just so distracting so mind-blowing to know that you might have witnessed the greatest shot witnessed in table tennis and just wonder if it actually counted or not or if it was good or not or what happened forget about other things but for Ling Gao Yuen right now if he loses one more point I wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout is it now where's the timeout Here it is. Hugo Jung calls the timeout. You have to imagine Ling Gao Yuan was almost waiting, sort of like someone who really wants a prom date and is saying, are you gonna ask me? I'm here, I'm available. 
He wanted the timeout, maybe. He needed some help. Lee Bo Jung's like, you know what? Yeah, now. It's got to be now. If you're down 0-3 against a guy, I don't think Lin Gao Yuan will ever forget Timo Bull anyway. But if Timo Bull came back to win this game and then the match in four straight, it would be like just complete mind control. Just yesterday, seeing these two, I feel like I'm watching in Belgium when Timo Bull had those soft flips to the backhand on the receive. Game seven, though, this was Ling Yuan's point. Ooh, this is close. Big point for Ling Yuan. It didn't save him in game seven. He got 11 10, and then Timo won the next three to take the match. Soft flip there, that backhand of Ling Yuan. Tough to avoid. It looks like he's trying to stay on top of the trajectory. Timo Bull's so nice, he doesn't swat the fly. He simply moves it with his hand gently. And he completely fools him with the serve. Lin Gao Yuan comes in for the short backhand receive on the forehand side of the table, but nope, the ball's waiting for him in the backhand court. Lord Roscoff coming down from his support standing ovation. Just long. This was the start, though. This is something that I'm sure Ling Gao Yuan practiced many, many times after Game 7 in Liège, receiving that inside-out left-handed receive. Who do you find to do that for you? Xu Xin, maybe? Well, he handled it well, got into the rally. And Timo Bull again facing a game point. for broke Timo, how does he get around this ball? We talk about agility. I don't think there's a player here who would have been caught off guard and out of position. Wow. And he comes down on balance. That slow-mo of Ling Gao Yuan with both of his feet in the air like Pegasus. Just flying through. Fourth towel break, no towels used on either side. Ooh, surprise! I thought that was gonna be Ling Gao Yuan's point. The ball comes off the table. Timo looked like he wanted to keep it a little bit shorter to jam him. But still, he's waiting there with that impending forehand counterattack off the bounce on the forehand side. Ling Gao Yuan tries to play it wider than there is table. Game point to Timo. Oh, the slip off the contact, the forehand drops. After a game point, he saved so many game points. What, 6-10, he gets four saved game points. Two more after that. Has one of his own and it's a deuce again. Outstanding play, focus Lin Gao Yuan. From that far behind the table, Timo's gonna have to pull off some miraculous shots, and those were all good, but not enough to get through Lin Gao Yuan. Game point once again for Lin Gao Yuan. What tricks can Timo pull out now? Service error would not be the most crowd-pleasing trick. Let serve just adds to the tension. Oh, the edge of the racket for Ling Gao Yuan on the counter, and Timo still almost keeps it in play, but what an escape from Ling Gao Yuan. Wow, 15 to 13. And it's a serious conversation with Lu Go Jung and Lin Gao Yuan, Timo Bull. There are the scores on screen, still leading two to one. Let's see what happens. Come along for the ride, game four right after this. Game number four, we 
we just can't get enough. Lin Gao Yuen on the scoreboard now with a game, and an exciting game it was. 15-13, Timo Bowl now with the serve, still leading 2-1. It's so tough for me, and this is immature and not professional, but to watch that point and think, where was that serve when you had game point? I would be saying that to myself, but that's one of many reasons I'm not a professional, and Timo Bowl's out here thrilling the world with his magic. Timo Magic Bowl. Into the body, little break off the net. Smart play nonetheless from Lin Gao Yuan. Timo Bowl with a Skylog. Let's watch this point one more time. Smashed. I think there was one off the edge before it, and that's the right time to drop. Shot selection wise, that's just how difficult it is to make a drop shot. When it's close to the net, you've got your opponent far. Wow. This is probably the most common question I get from my non tournament playing friends. And the guy's back there hitting it that high from that far away. Why doesn't the other guy just dink it, just drop it? One of the best players in the world couldn't do it with the best opportunity. Pretty close to the best anyway. Four to one, Timo leading, still too early to tell. Oh, beautiful receive, really wide. Committing to that positioning is one thing and then playing the ball that wide not a lot of margin for error, but it pays off. First towel break of the game, Timo still up by two. Gotta love Timo's facial expressions. He's like, well, well, it's pretty great shots. Oh, when you see the hand go to the leg, though, you worry. 36, injury is a concern. Wow, Lingao Yuen. You gotta, you gotta tip your hat to the guy. I mean, he's playing shots and patterns. Hard. He's playing just unpredictable patterns right now. That's the receive. Timo's tried to disguise it in different ways, coming in with the racket a little bit more horizontally than at the last moment, bringing it up. Nice 90 degree. The snow cone flip. Ice cream cone, there we go. It's been a little while, got a review. Oh, burned. Nobody home. That's the speed of Ling Gao Yuan. Let's see where the opportunity is here. Huh. From the replay of that, the ball didn't look like, I mean, this is just, you know, a very minorly loose ball from Timo, and Ling Gao Yuan's just gonna stomp all over it. It's how specific every shot needs to be. standpoint. Again, you've got a whole plane to move on the floor. It's not just side to side, but in and out. So important to the factor of your shot. The body positioning, the trajectory, how you're going to make the shot. Well played. One to the middle, one deep to the back end. He's driving Ling Yuan off the table. Seven to four. Timo leading. Gao Yuen got game three. Game four, Timo will not let him have if he can say anything about it. Second towel break of the game, and he extends the lead to four points. Now just a reminder, the winner of this match is on the same side of the bracket that Xu Xin was on, but is not anymore. Thank you, Lee Song Su, for clearing the pathway. But then again, we're talking about the world champion bronze medalist, Lee Song Su. It's not to be taken lightly, obviously. Crowd's gonna love that. 
Clearly a let service, but it got a second bounce on the table. That bending backhand, a little bit of side and top, and Lingao Yuen just isn't finding his rhythm in these rallies right now. He's not leading the dance, he's following, he's trying. Excellent effort, but the positioning, the placement just right from Ling Gao Yuen. Timo's the only player that I see before matches sometimes, right before he runs in, who will do many push-ups. He'll just get down and do 20 push-ups before the match. Maybe more, I didn't count, but... Soft block, beautiful depth on the table here. Timo slows it down instead of projecting forward to kick the ball back and keep it fast. He softens it up. Ball never reaches Ling Gao Yuen's sweet spot. And now it's 10 to five, five game points. Close, close. Ling Gao Yuen saves one game point. Mistimed. It's a little bit of role reversal here. We've seen this before. Usually it's the other way around. Not a complete whiff, no contact. Just a missed shot, usually. What if? What if Lin Gao Yuan took it back? Timo's so experienced. Let's see. Oh, the counter does it. A huge shot here. This is going to pay off in the long run, it seems. 11 to 7, Timo Bull secures his third game in this match and is one game away from again defeating a player who made it all the way through the Marvelous 12 in China to qualify to represent China at the World Championships. Game number five could be the last. Game number five. Ling Gao Yuen down one to three. First point, Timo. Second point, Timo. You can hear in my voice how exciting this is. It's only the second point of the game. We're very far from the finish line in terms of games. This backhand, the placement, it's a counter backhand. To have such confidence with one of the fastest players in the world, up and coming Ling Gao Yuan. Beautiful rally, Ling Gao Yuan on top of this one. Again, that pace. for me in this rally, one of two, is Timo Bull's third ball. Not the fact that it was a winning shot by any stretch of the imagination, but he countered it and he stayed in position well. You remember the last time Ling Gao Yuan stepped around that far? It went way wide to Timo's forehand. Nice softening up the ball, leaves it shallow on the table. Now out of all the factors to consider, the depth of where this ball bounces near the net leaves a very uncomfortable shot. Watch it, not that one. This one, very shallow, and Ling Gao Yuan mistimes it. Again, it's still early in the game. Timo knows from experience, first tile break of the game, can't get ahead of himself, has to focus on every point. 
When I said earlier with this big of a lead, so many opportunities to take the game, surely Timo will take it. We thought the same thing in China earlier this year against Dmitry Ovtrov up 10-6 in game seven. Timo Bull couldn't take it. Just long. And the Ling Yuan fans here outnumbered, but still supporting and enjoying the show nonetheless. Timo Bull respected all over the world, but very well respected in China. from Timo, but he doesn't take the points. Amazing point. If Timo comes back to win that point, I think the uh, top 10 might just be the highlights of this match, basically. Be a five minute video, the top 10 points of this match. So Ling Gao Yuan in the lead from down 1-4, scores four points in a row. Confidence is a tricky thing, right? An important thing to have, but in terms of knowing your limits. And I don't say that to mean that that's what's happening here. It could just simply be Timo playing the same game. And he's trying to stay focused, but Lin Gao Yuen's turned it up a notch. Maybe Ling Ga Yuen has found the confidence that he was lacking earlier in the game. Maybe he's a little bit looser. Just missing the edge there. Yeah, sometimes a player just has sort of a revelation and realizes, you know what? What have I got to lose? This guy's already beat me in the most devastating situation. I'm down now. Nobody expects the comeback. Chill out. Play your game or it could be much more specific. <laughs> From move your feet. To play confidently with your backhand early in the rally, don't be afraid to challenge him backhand to backhand. Between these two players, Lin Gao Yuan is definitely the faster of the two. Timo Bull, the more consistent and by far more experienced. That's true of most people Timo Bull will play. Still in the game, I think maybe everybody except Samsonov. Young players in the front row. The women of Germany, future women's team. This is nice from Timo. You can tell the arc on the ball, even from that camera angle, that it's just not the same trajectory that Ling Yuan's used to playing with. Timo Bull gets low, and then from even up high out in front, a little more shallow on the table, just spins it back on. These are the ones, the uncomfortable backhands that kick up and out. And Ling Gao Yuan is finding stress once again, not able to time them right, not able to turn and take the forehand, more stay on top with the backhand. High kicking backhand shots. Shots into your backhand side can be quite troubling for many players to stay on top of. Tied up now. Timo Bowl waits to watch. Does it come down? And it does not. Right there waiting. So back in the lead. And just to think, what a week ago I saw Timo Bowl playing on a German TV show with a pan. The moments between his weeks and weeks of playing non-stop, and here he is back in the lead against Ling Gao Yuan. Top edge of the racket for Timo. Taste of his own medicine. Ling Gao Yuan knows what that's like, more so on the forehand side. The 
softest receiving edge of the racket for Timo? Is that what the apology was for? Wow. Even the way he looks at his opponent when apologizing, let's see. Tough to tell. But he looks at him like he really wants it to be received. He wants his opponent to know, man, I feel bad about that. I shouldn't, shouldn't have to win a point that way. Look at this receive. Right down the line, Timo, magic bowl. Hans, the Groggers are going. The yellow section of the crowd. Interestingly enough, cheering for Timo here. Two match points for a repeat victory over the future of Chinese table tennis with Fang Zhendong. Pendulum, the long reverse pendulum, rather. Ling Gao Yuan handles it. Surprise serve, bold from bowl. But it doesn't earn him the point. Ling Gao Yuan focused. After losing six in a row from up 10 4, was able to go up 11 10 in game seven. One more game point and match point for T Mobile. Top edge of the racket again. Ling Gao Yuan saves two match points. Timo saved seven in game seven and eight in the match. In Liège, Belgium. It would be tough to imagine Ling Gao Yuen saving more match points than Timo did. Deuce in game five. Beautiful shot right back to where it came from, parallel. Where do these surprise shots come from just when you think Something is going to be too tough. Timo finds that extra. It's like the reserve tank of gas when your car's on empty. That's Timo all the time. He lives in the magic zone. Match point once again. Third match point. Ooh! <laughs> what happened? There's no question it was a service error. Did he catch it? Please show me that from another angle. That's, he's got to laugh a little bit in a moment like this. Okay, thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. He caught it. Caught his own serve. Hit it into his bare hand. Missed the contact. Amazing point, this time the drop shot comes in. Just incredible. I can't even remember what happened in the point. All I know is I was watching it on the edge of my seat. At least feeling that way. I think I was sternly like, in the center of it to make sure I didn't fall off. Ling Gao Yuen now with a game point, looking to play a sixth game in this match. Receive. How does Timo see it coming so well? Last time Ling Gao Yuan played that into the backhand side. Here it goes wide. Timo can read like nobody's business. Body language to him is like literature to an English major. Counters it back. Fourth towel break of the game, and this time, towel very necessary. Soft shots from Timo early in the rally are just mind-boggling, and Ling Gao Yuan doesn't know how to find his rhythm in the point after that. One soft shot, and Timo finds the opportunity, but he's got so many different weapons, his attacks are so varied. Timo Bull. 
And this puts him into the semifinals. He's playing on top of the world right now. I feel like he's captured the hearts. If nothing else, Lingao Yuan fans, he's at least captured your heart rate. And Lu Guo Zheng with a smile, but the bigger smile from Roskov. Wow, legend meets legend for a handshake. And Team Old Bull moves on with the whole family here, even Carrie the dog, she's here supporting. Delhi, Zoe, his daughter, who will be four in December. And Daddy bringing this out, Timo Bull even managed to catch his own serve on the way to this victory. Four to one, and what a way to end the night. Tomorrow will be a thriller. Again, you are watching the last platinum event of the year before the World Tour Grand Finals. It's the ITTF Seamaster 2017 World Tour Platinum German Open. I'm Adam Bobro. Get some sleep. Enjoy the mass.